and there was lots of people asking me those questions. And, and I, I just wanted to, um, I wanted to demystify it really, um, and sort of say, look, if if, and we're going to start with some tarot this evening. Um, been sort of, again, you know what it's like when you, when you when you're not very well, you can't do anything, and then when you get an ounce of energy, you're like, yes, I'm now going to take on. So I've changed my room around. I've, I've got a new desk, and I'm going to, you know, that's just the way I'm a bit crazy, okay, a bit local. Um, but you know, when you feel that inch better. You feel as if you can take on the world twice as much. You know what I mean? It's like, yes, I'm back. And right, where are we going? Disco dancing? Maybe not disco dancing, but everything else is is on par. So, um, so yeah. So I, I've, I've sort of swapped the room around a little bit. Um, but we're going to do some tarot this evening to start with, and I wanted to do um, a, a little collective um, read, but not so much from me. I've chosen three cards for. And that's the question. So if you've seen the tarot cost and everyone in Light and Harmony gets it for free, you get it for free for a number of days because you to me only allow me so many coupons and I can only do so many free. And they're really becoming quite draconian in terms of what, what an instructor can do because they see it as the students are theirs. I'm a teacher in their school. I'm not. Do you understand it? So it's 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 that sort of relationship. They're good as gold, but you know they are quite draconian in in, in some of the things they do. So you get it free anyway because you you remember and it'll last for forty hours. You keep it forever. If you, as long as you register, it always stays in your in in on your learning. But it, they give you a certain amount of time. And um, and the reason why I wanted to do that and tonight is is that that's how I do my readings, and and I do my readings. If you've started watching the course is I do so many of them. So I do two or three in a day, all right? They take me anywhere between nine and 20 minutes, all right? And there's no specific time how long that takes. But the structure now is I've got it quite down pat. So I'll put something up onto the website and say, right, who wants a reading? They'll then choose a number. I'll then do some angelic numerology, okay? Um, and I'll be honest with you, all right? When you've got numbers two to 30 or whatever, you can't remember all of them. Sometimes I just... I've got a site I work on an angelic numerology. I'll go on and I'll look at it and I'll sit with a number and I'll sit with the information and I'll see what resonates and I'll do all of that. And then I'll go into angelic numerology. You have seen that I, I've had these rune cards that I use. So I use a rune card. Um, I do no runes, um, so that's okay. I know tarot as well, obviously, and I know my Gaia cards. And, and I, I just put it all together into a melting pot and I come up with a reading that I record on an audio that I send to people once they've purchased their reading, and it's anywhere between nine and 20 minutes long, okay? And touch wood, by the grace of God, I probably have done, I don't know, I'm gonna pluck, pluck a number up here, a thousand, two thousand of them, all right? Over a period of time. And touch wood, I've never had anyone come back and say, what a load of rubbish. I can't take any of that. That is total gobbledygook, right? Now maybe they are, I don't know, too respectful to say that, right? Maybe they, maybe that's part of the thing. Maybe they're just gonna go, yeah, yeah, well, I can't say anything, can I? You know, poor guy, I could hear the way he gave it, he gave it his all there, it, it was absolute crap, but he, you know, he, he gave everything, you know what I mean? 10 out of 10 for effort, two out of 10 for evidence, but, you know, he seems to be okay. You know, I just, I just won't bother again anyway. And how do you block somebody on here? Um, you know, that's it. Maybe that's maybe that sort of thing. But it, that's not what generally what happens. What happens is um, most people come back and say, "Thank you very much. I loved it. I resonated, and all those other things." And and it is a case of you stepping out of your power, or stepping into your power. And it's funny because uh, again, when you stop. And I'm going to slow down. I always slow down in J July anyway, and then go again in August, September, October. Off we go. So July is probably the only decent month of weather we have here in the UK. So I'm going to try and make the most of some of it. Um, but I'll still be doing Mondays and Thursdays, so that's okay. But I'm slowing down all the other little bits. Um, but one thing I've always wanted to do is I've always wanted to do, I did it before, and I was there sort of saying, I want to do a podcast, Okay. I want to do a podcast. I want to do a podcast interviewing people talking about their spiritual journey. And I was greatly um, inspired over the last couple of days reading a book um, called Before and Laughter with a guy called Jimmy Carr from here. Some of his stuff is he's a bit close to the mark for me, but I think 
I, I, I like the ability to be able to, to read past sometimes people's personas and out exterior characters to understand their interior character, because some of it is a facade, some of it is a show, some of it is um, a persona that they've created that, that they have to keep peddling because that's what that group of people like. But in the main, he's, he's, the stuff he's saying is just, is just phenomenal. And, and it is time for all of us to, to step out and step in. Um, it really is. And, I, and I've been thinking about doing this podcast and I've had thousands of names for it. And I thought, what's it going to be about? And, and today I took the plunge and registered a domain name and um, started to do something on it. And I was spent sort of three hours with a headset on listening, sort of what's going to be the opening music. You know, three hours just because it was just nice anyway. Um, but then I said it'll just come, so stop doing that. Um, and it's going to be called You, Yourself, and I. So I thought me, myself, and I, but then I thought, no, that's not right. It's me, me, me. It's you, yourself, and I. So it's you, your, you and yourself, and I'll open this up for a debate. You, I think, is the ego or maybe you is the soul and yourself is the ego. So there's two sides to you. There is you and yourself. Yeah. So I'm trying to work out in my mind, is the yourself the ego and the you the soul, or is you the ego and yourself the soul? All right. So I'm just trying to work that out in my mind. Okay. So it's you, yourself, and I, because obviously I'm the guy interviewing. So we're going to talk about somebody's spirituality or their ego and their soul and then there's me so i thought me myself and i and then i love the della soul track if anyone remember that going back in the 80s sure my age now me myself and i it's a great track um but then i thought yeah so but then i thought no there's loads of people got me myself and i and i thought no it's not about me anyway is it it's about you so it's you yourself and i so that's what i've registered today um and i'm going to try to do the podcast through July and August, and see if I can get some um, people on to talk about their journey. Okay, the purposeful podcast is called. All right, and I want to talk about spirituality and spiritualism. But I want to talk about their journey. Why am I talking about all of this, and why am I talking about this in particular right here, right now? The reason is, is because I've been procrastinating on doing something like this for a very long time, and I've never really got out and done it. And I thought to myself, you've just done a course on tarot telling people to stop procrastinating and get out there and get and do it and yet i'm sat in bed going yeah well maybe maybe should i could i would it how would it so i've just gone no i'm gonna go and do it and that's what i want you to do i want you to believe in yourselves if you're not already doing it and i want you to start to get out there and do it and what i talk about in the in the in some of the bits um within the course itself is it's going to be Julian Jenkins. That's going to be the podcast. It's going to be called something, but then it's Julian Jenkins. But I want you to be yourself. I want you to create your web presence. I want you to create your online presence. I want you to stand in your power and your energy. I want you to say, this is what I do. And if it is to start with email readings, because although they are quite personal, I've never stopped and started one again, but you could have the chance to do that if you wanted to. Uh, one o'clock I said I meet Liam almost oh, a time now but you know and, and oh no, then they've got a little cheer at three o'clock oh my god what can I so so you, you can just sort of work your way into it and it, it's a good way of feeling it it's a good way of connecting with learning to connect with people's energies it's a good way to work with your guides because you can say right we're going to go and do this now guys and I always put music on and you, and I just get into it right and and it's a good way of you starting it's a good way of you putting your toes in the water if you haven't already done it, if you're doing it and you're flying and you're, and you're smashing it and, and everything's out the park and it's amazing. I hope you could take one little bit, but if you're starting to get on your journey and you're thinking, can I, can't I, and should I, shouldn't I, and how is this going to work? Just copy that template. Just copy that template and, and get yourself a product, get yourself a website. Please don't do what I did and spend thousands of pounds on a website. Please don't do what I did and think that I had to make sure that I had curly corners 
and I had to, there's too much time spent in the creative design of a website, right? It's too much time, too much money, too much blur, and not enough time online. Put your website at one page, tell them who you are, tell them the problem yourself, where do you add value? And, you know, but they buy you, people buy you. That's what they do. Yeah, they don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Okay, they buy people by people. All right. So that's what it's about. So I wanted to say that at the beginning of, of tonight is, is sometimes I believe everything happens for a reason. All right. There's no such thing as coincidence. It's all synchronicity. And I've stopped for four days to have a, you know, a bit of a brain fart, but to sit down and, and, and go through everything and sort of start to assess and, and see where I am and, and see how I can help. But there's no point me being a, a mentor or a teacher. I hate all those words. We're all students. We're all learning. If I'm not going to eat some of my own cake. Yeah. So I've got to get out and do the things that I, you know, know my ne next phase of things doing. And that is showing and helping people to do what they do. I think there's two amazing things you need to do in your life. And that is one, find your purpose. And then the second one is to live your purpose. And unfortunately, there's some people in the world that will get to do neither. But hey, start today. That's fine. And people say, well, what is my purpose? I'll tell you what your purpose is. You know when you're doing something and you lose track of time and everything seems amazing and you have that extra spring in your step and you get that bit of energy and you could talk about it for ages and everyone says, wow, that's where you're meant to be. If things feel like a drudge, and things, you know, do I have to? And can I not? And should we do this tomorrow? And can, you're in the wrong space. Yeah? You want to get up in the morning going, yeah, right. Okay? Not every morning, because some mornings you'll stub your toe or you'll catch COVID, right? But most of the times when you wake up, you're going to go, yeah, right, great. What am I doing today? Here we go. Come on. Yeah, I've got this to do. I've got that to do. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do a podcast. I'd love to do a podcast. Who am I going to go? Who am I going to interview? I'm going to get lots of people. I'm going to try and get a very eclectic mix i just don't want heavy hitters because then everyone goes yeah but that's that's too aspirational yeah okay how did he manage to get you know that person on the show how, we need real people doing real things showing real ways real pathways talking about real things talking about the fact that some days you feel like shit okay some days you do all right but that's okay so sometimes it's okay not to be okay but as long as we think yeah this is the time my body's saying or spirit's saying or whatever's saying, we're going to have a cup of tea today and we're going to take a bit of time out. It doesn't mean I can't sit down and write in Google or go and enjoy the sunshine or listen to the birds or do whatever, yeah? Okay? So that is a party political broadcast brought to you by um, Julia Jenkins on behalf of the um, Purpose Party. Um, but that's that's what I want you to do. Yeah, I, I want you. I want you to. I want you to do those things because you know it's. I do, and I, I do think that you know the two great things is one finding your purpose, and two is everyday living it. And I think that's um, that's great. The only downside to catching COVID is binge watching. Um, and I've started binge watching a program called This Is Us. Has anyone seen that? This is us. Yeah, it's a bit quirky, quick, funny, quite clever. It's about a family who have twins and uh, triplets, and one of them passes away. And it, it's it's quite it's quite big. It's quite, but there's some really nice stuff in there. Just one one last thing, I just thought I'd say. Um, this is us. It's called. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those things you start and then. You didn't really look at this 16 episodes in series one. It's like, wow, man, this is, yeah, I'm going to be 68 by the time I finish this. Um, but no, it's, it's good. That's another good thing to watch, just so I check in. So anyway, tonight is going to start by um, me preaching. And then um, we're going to do a meditation. Um, but I've done my preaching part. So we're going to do um, a bit of card reading. All right. And... I've chosen three cards. Well, I say I. I do as I always do, as you've seen in the thing. I burn my joystick, which is burning away nicely over there um, on the right-hand side, uh, which is fantastic, he says. This is good as well. Not this. You can't see that. Oh, it's not working. This is a 
See that zapper? Look at that. It's, it's a new way of lighting a joste. And it, it's carbon, it doesn't do anything to the environment. That's great. I had a boat for me. There's something in me just wants to do that and then press the button, but I haven't, I haven't quite done that yet. Let's see what happens. Um, but so I like my joss stick with that now because I want to be ozone friendly. Okay. Um, and I put my cards in there and I give it a mix around on, on the on the energy of the of the um of the joss stick. Uh, I'm build, I'm burning uh, white sage and palo santo tonight on it. I cleanse it and then I always cut them three times. And my number 16, okay, um, my lucky number 16, for a number of reasons, one um, is the day my daughter was born, and that's the gift of the angel from above. She was born on the 16th of November. Um, two, my other lucky number was eight. Um, so I thought, well, if it's 16, that's two times eight, so it's gonna, my daughter's twice as lucky as me then, and that's amazing. So I use 16 as my thing, so then I shuffled the cards 16 times, okay? And then I came up with three cards. All right. And I'm hoping that you can see that. Yeah. Can you see that? Can you, I just can see on the right hand side. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. So the three cards we had, and I, the question I asked, I just pour myself a, a little thing of tea. Do you, know what's, do you know what is amazing about when you work with spirit though? You wouldn't believe that I was literally asleep 25 minutes ago. <laughs> and and I've woken up and come into this energy and I just, I'm like as if, I don't know, I'm, like, ah, I'm just like woken up. It just feels great. Um, and that's just because you're working in your passion. That's because you're working in your, your flow state, yeah? Um, you'll see in this three cards, the question I asked was, what does the group need right now? Okay. What does the group need right now? And that's... You know, and we can all we can all take um, bits and pieces out of that. All right. Now, I could sit here and read this, which is great. But what does these cards say to you? Is what I'm going to ask. Now, I can't. Can I see everybody? No. Can I see? How can I get to see everybody? Hang on, because I'm sharing my screen. Hang on a sec. Sorry. That's as good as it gets, is it? All right, okay. Who would like to have a go at those three cards based on the question, which was, um, what does the group need right now? Did anyone like to have a play? Don't all put your hands up at once. Okay, Lucia, yeah? Okay, so uh, for me, um, this means because I'm, I'm going through back and forth with some important decisions with my health. And to me, this means like I, I had a conversation with somebody and it, and it just totally uh, threw me off. So this means like do not go so crazy with thinking, um, to not be so um, indecisive and to go with, within. The moon to me is like reflection um, and it's upside down. So. Um, I'm feeling like I don't have to think so hard, really. I have the answer in deep inside. And the emperor is to, to have strength and believe and, and, and feel, go within and feel what feels right. And my body will let me know like what my answer is and not to be thrown off by what someone else um, says. Very good. Yeah, I would, I would concur with those, with those thoughts. Anybody else? Well done. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody else want to have a, a stab at it? What does the two of swords say reverse to somebody? If we had to say what that was at the moment, what would you say that would be? Yeah. I, I feel that um, the two, the whole thing to me feels very much the idea of the moon is cyclical. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff in here that we're kind of, our choices have been blocked. We have choice in life, but at this point in time, it's being blocked and that there are cycles in this blocking and that if we can go by the laws, the rules that the emperor, who is pretty cut and dry, so we don't have to worry that I guess I, I'm saying, I feel like it's telling us that history is repeating itself 
and that we do have a choice. We have to turn that two upside down, give ourselves the choice and look at the cycles that are going on and do the rules that work and that will allow us to live in a society that is um, just. So that's what I get. Yeah, sounds about right as well. Yeah, people can, can relate I, can to I, that. Maybe? Can I get a stab at it? Yep. Yeah, right, so the sure. Two of swords reverse means you finally made a really difficult decision. You know, um, you finally made the decision, you know, after, oh gosh, what should I do? Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Um, and then you've got the moon upside down. Well, you know what? The moon represents your fears, but upside down, you're digging into it. So you're releasing some of that. So in order to make the decision to dig into your fears, release it, to find order in your life and to be disciplined. And that's the way I read it. Brilliant. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly. There's a theme here, though, isn't there? And 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 I, I drew these cards and I was going to say what I was going to say before I said even what I said. Anybody else want to have a go? And I'll tell you why I think that is all a bit co coincidental or or should I say um, synchronicitic, if that's a word, synchronized, syn syn synchronic, I never say it now. Synchronistic, I'm saying. Synchronoscus. Oh, wow, <laughs> that's, that's amazing. Right. Uh, what, what do you think of the cards? Come on, I've got you on <laughs> now. Um, actually, the uh, I've got to admit, I know nothing about tarot. That's okay, <laughs> good, it's a good start, it's a good place to be. <laughs> But the moon card really affected me because I'm dealing with animal communications right now. Okay. And I'm dealing with a lost cat. Right. And upside down, I'm having trouble. The cat doesn't want to go home. <laughs> and it's how do you talk an animal into going home when they don't want to go home? It's, it's a big deal. Now, this, with the swords, I got making a decision. I have two companies, and one of them is resume writing, and one of them is actually Reiki and psychic abilities and animal communications. It's all to do about energy. And I've just recently chose to promote that one. Good. And yeah. there's a decision. So you are making those decisions about where you want to go and how you want to do things. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Synchronicity. Synchronicity. What a great yes. word. I'm writing that down. Okay. I'll pretend I made it myself. I wouldn't do that. It's a great word. Though. <laughs> Who else gets something? It's yeah, only, I, I know you've got something. It's that beautiful angelic shadow that falls on you from the window behind. I just think it's an angelic shadow. It's nothing to do with the window. Um, well, I mean, I think from my thoughts on it is that we're right now really being faced with understanding that the world has like a lot of duality in it. And that um, I think we view things like <clears throat> for so long as good and bad, but it's sort of like, maybe it's more about accepting that there is duality and that we have to sort of move. I think the emperor kind of gives us like the structure and sort of tells us that, you know, helps us to understand that you can still have, I think the moon to me is like spiritual. So like that you can still have spirituality and, hope and all this stuff with the duality but we have to but you know it's like choosing what's right rather than what's easy you know and that we're faced with this duality right now and that we really have to sort of sit with the powers of the moon the powers you know that sort of give us more answers instead of just choosing what's easy and the emperor sort of watching over us being like you know, this is, you know, sort of like commanding, saying like, this is choose, choose right rather than easy. That's my take on it. <laughs> Very good. Not Very sure good. what that means, but that's well, like. <laughs> I, I can see where you're coming from. Yeah, it's, it's like, 
You know, my dad used to say, mm-hmm. take, take the easy route, it gets hard. Take the hard route, it gets easy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, and I think I think they're they're very they're very wise words, which it says in there. So thank you very much. Um, just uh, Sandra, yeah. I can, yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> I would say from my pers- view of perspective uh, that there were two, you know, there were two paths to, to choosing, and the one uh, you were you already chose chosen by the very good thought thought of it and uh, a lot of intuition from the moon so you have chosen the path and now what is uh, what you have to do is to make some planning and some strategic strategic uh, way of thinking and planning so that you can take ahead that uh, path you've chosen okay yeah yeah very much so and the and the emperor shows that leadership exactly yeah it shows you that, that you're, you're moving in the right direction. It's good. Well done. Well done. Okay. Any more for any more? Anybody want a last one? No, I can't see all the screens. That's the problem I share. I, what, what's interesting, and when I take take it off then, if I've missed you, you come back in. But um, it's, it's actually, when I came on earlier and I started... Um, trying to hopefully um, inspire you um, to step over the line and do what you need to do um, and and find your purpose and and live your purpose. Um, For me, these three cards pretty much say that. Um, And I think it says that, you know, the the two of swords reversed is about indecision. It's about... um, you know, shall I, shan't I, can I, can't I? You know, there's a couple of ways I can stay safe. I can stay here. The tide's the tide's not coming in any further. I'm safe where I am. But am I really comfortable sat here with a blindfold on, you know, not knowing which direction I'm going to go in? So I need to make a decision. I'm very, I'm, I'm, there's a bit of indecision there. When we look at the moon reversed, I think that's about a release. I think that's about you releasing um, your indecision, releasing these self-doubt you know some of the self-sabotage some of the stuff that you know your inner critic can be a really good tool okay but it can also if it's used in the right way but also can be hugely destructive okay sometimes it's good to listen to your inner critic okay because you need to listen sometimes to it say did i really just say that did i really just do that this where did that come from did i have a, a moment of weakness but you know sometimes you need to listen to that so i think it was a bowing decision i think then there's a release and for me in this instance the emperor is sort of saying do you know what i'm wise yeah i've seen all of this before i i didn't become the emperor just by falling in this chair i had to do my apprenticeship I had to I had to sit on a beach not knowing which way I was going to go. I had to sit under the moon and 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 make decisions and release energy, whether it be a new moon or a full moon. But now I've got that wisdom, and I want to share it with the world. And it's time for me to move from the indecisive to release those negative thoughts and to actually be the person who brings your wisdom, my wisdom for me, your wisdom for you into the world in your light, in your way, in your tone, in your language, with your colors, with your website, with your everything, with your experiences. And that's what I I believe those cards are saying is I believe, and they were absolutely completely randomly picked out. Um, Because I couldn't have told the story better if I had picked out one of the 78 cards. But I believe that's what it's saying. It's basically, I believe, it's ratifying my 15-minute rant before um, we actually started to look at the cards. And that's why I'm. my only surprise is I'm still surprised. And in the main, you're all talking about how they talk to you, which is exactly where it needs to be because it's your own personal intuition. We're all on different um, junctions of the journey. As I say, I believe... We're all in the same storm. We're just in different boats, right? So, you know, you will see things and move things. But in the main, I think it's saying, you know, 
what I'm feeling and seeing at the moment and sensing internally and trying to um, explain through my own verbiage um, um, to you guys um, uh, to, to understand it. I think the cards, for me anyway, are saying that. And I think that's a really important point. So, you know, it's, it is time for us to, you know, make decisions, release the things that we need to release, and then stand in our own energy, stand as the emperor or the empress, um, and release and use your knowledge and your wisdom and your light and the you-isms um, that you use for you to be you, because, you know, we are all enough. You are enough. It's just, you've got to get out there and give it a go. Um, and then we could sit here and probably um, wax lyric over hundreds of different quotations about, you know, the first journey, the thousand miles starts with one step, and all of these things. Um, but we just keep telling ourselves that, and then we pick up another book and, and then tell ourselves again, and then pick up another book and tell ourselves again. And, and at some point, um, we've got to write our own book. <laughs> And, and get out there and do that through your own experiences because um, every single person in this room has the gift and the ability um, to be able to do that. So I hope that was um, helpful. I actually um, enjoyed it. And it was interesting to see how those cards unfolded and worked for everybody, but basically dovetailed into the overriding message, which is, it's time, guys. <laughs> okay it is time it is time and going back to the guy whose book i'm reading currently who is now a multi-millionaire famous guy and he says he gets annoyed when people say yeah but it's okay for you you are a multi-millionaire comedian he said when i left shell oil company as a marketing executive and did my first comedy act above a pub in London, I had 20 pound in my pocket. And the only reason I'm doing what I'm doing and being successful I am, because I have followed my purpose. And I was in my flow state. And it's okay for me, and he says, yeah, it's okay for you. No, no, no. When I started, my first gig was 20 pounds above a pub in London, and that is the only 20 pounds I had. Okay. So what I'm saying is, it's time. And what is also time, it'd be nice to do a meditation. Anyone got any questions on any of that? No? Does it make sense? Yeah? Okay. Good. Good stuff. All right, so, so let's do a bit of meditation. Michael, it's nice to see you. I mentioned you. I hope you're well, Michael. Um, let's, um, let's knock off my video as we always do. This tonight, okay, I'm hoping that I can do something a little bit funky. Um, uh, where are we, Julian? Bear with me a second. We're going to do a bit of journeying. It's just a spiritual journey, okay? And it's going back to one of my favourite tracks that we used to play quite a bit that I'm hoping that I can play and... Um, it's not going to be too loud. I'm going to share it now. Hang on. I might come through a little bit loud to start with. I'm just going to take it down a little bit. And all I want you to do is very simply just close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in. Hold it for a second. And then let it go. And take another nice deep breath in. Hold it for a second. And let it go. And then just allow your breathing to take its own natural flow. Just breathing in and breathing out. I 
This is a shamanic track that allows us just to journey on the beat. So find your own beat within this piece of music. Just breathe it in and breathe it out. Time you do, you feel your body relaxing, calming, just being. Feeling that spiritual energy just build around you. I just want you to bring to mind that you're sat on the side of a great lake on a summer's evening, the moon in the air, and a beautiful smell of nature, of calm and relaxation. I just want you to sit gather your own spiritual thoughts maybe ask your guides to come close maybe loved ones to come close just to spend the next moments journeying in on this track being in your spiritual space maybe just watching the eagles fly above safe, secure grounded Enjoy in this healing space. This is your time. This is your spiritual development. Just enjoy it. I'll be back soon.
always huge and grateful for the time that we spent this morning. The things that we show, the guidance that we're given. You and I stood back a lake, looking around, sensing and seeing the beauty that surrounds us. Just reflecting on the things that we've experienced and what we've been shown. The messages we've been given and the people who may have joined us. We're always eternally grateful. Take a last look around. Take a nice deep breath in. Fingers. Relax. So, and we are back. So that is a track called Shamanic Dreams. Um, if you want to Google it on um, YouTube, Shamanic Dreams, and it's by somebody that's amazing. I, I took my glasses off and I started reading. Um, Angu Anugama, A N U G A M A, A N U G A M A. And it's shamanic dream. It's a great track and it lasts for 30 minutes, of which we did 16 minutes of that track. And it probably felt about 60 seconds. So it's a really good shamanic track. It's one that you can just many moons ago, that would be the track that I used to use if I was doing um trance circles. I used to sit there and it was always good when I was wondering, you, you're focusing on meeting my guides, focusing on meeting my guides, breathing in, focusing on breathing out, meeting my guides. It's a really good one for any form of mantra. So focusing on calming my mind, focusing on calming my mind, focusing on healing my chakras, focusing on healing my chakras. Whatever you want to do in terms of a mantra, when you're breathing in, you're focusing on. When you're breathing out is what your mantra is. So it's a really nice one for doing that. Um, would anyone like to share their experiences? Did anyone go anywhere nice? Did anything um, exceptionally good happen? Or if you'd like to, you can pop your hand in the air and I will, uh, I will take. Anybody? No, you all just go on, Liam. There's no force in a bit. You go, Liam, then we go to Elise. Liam. Okay. I actually had to start writing because I was getting so much. I don't know where it was coming from, but different images. Uh, there's like a rainbow over the lake. There's a ring around the moon. There's a shooting star that got caught by a blue box. I mean, it, it was wild. And like my third eye was throbbing <laughs> with, with some of the music on some of that. So it was cool. So I'm over here scribbling. I'm supposed to be relaxing. And I'm scribbling stuff down, but it was really, really neat. I just love that track. I think I've been in a circle before where you played that and it was similar where the thing just started coming in. So. Bravo, that was wonderful. Well done. It's um, it is a shamanic feeling. Elise, and I come to you then I go to Catherine. Elise. Yeah, well, it was really vibrant. I don't usually go to new places, but there was this was completely new and unexpected. It was in the middle of the jungle with all sorts of like mostly emotions. And I started seeing this person that I ha had not forgiven. And it's like, it's all cool now. I think I have finally closed that chapter of my life and I got the time to move on. So it was, it was really, uh, you always make me cry, whatever, <laughs> whatever we do. I always end up crying when we do meditation. So this didn't, this wasn't the exception. So <laughs> thanks for that. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> well, thank you for sharing it. And, and, and thank you for, you know, trusting the group to be able to share it. I think, 
<clears throat> when you cry, it's always good. It's always good of a release of an emotion. You know, as I, I've said a million times, <coughs> excuse me, when, it, when people cry, you always feel better afterwards because you're letting it go. You're letting it out, yeah? <coughs> There's some work to be done in there in just every time. Well done. Well done, well done indeed. Catherine? I had a really interesting experience. I was at the lake. And I watched a moose, a big bull moose, go for a swim. Nice. And then I did some dancing. Oh, wow. Well. There's nothing nicer on a Thursday night watching a moose swim and then dancing. It's just, yeah. it's up there, isn't it? That's good stuff. Well done. Well done indeed. Did you enjoy it? Loved it. It was great. Good. Nice to see you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Anybody else? Annie? Yeah, I had... Um... I sat in a, by a lake at first, but then as time went on, um, my father came in and right before he passed, um, when he was passing, I felt this great pressure on my head as he was passing. And it was really wonderful because I got that back. Mm -hmm. He came and put his hands on my head and I've become very sensitive and he just kind of sat right in with me and I sat probably 15 of those 16 minutes just with goosebumps. I just felt like I was sitting there with him. It was, I cried too. I just felt so good. And all of a sudden I was in, by a stream and he was telling me, be the water, be the water, flow like the water. You're the humans are the only people that want to suffer. Water doesn't try and flow uphill. It doesn't try and do that. It just goes. So go. And so it was like really cool. And then when you said it was up, it was like, he just, he's still here. Oh my God. And then he's just, you know, it was just a really incredible, incredibly beautiful experience. Thank you. Thank you, Annie. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Anybody else before we wrap up? Anyone want to share anything? Michael, nice to see you. Looking well. Uh, thank you as well. Nice to see you, Julian. Um, it was a beautiful meditation. Thank you. I really helped calm me down. I was a little jittery when I came on. So uh, I was taking the top of a mountain, I believe by one of my guides. And I was just ruminating or not ruminating, but thinking about the cards and what they, my interpretation of them was, what they meant to me. So I was just going to kind of share that, I guess. Um, I don't have any, like I never bothered to learn um, yet, or if I should even at this point, anything about the cards, like what they think out of a book. I just go by intuition. Uh, but the cards to me were showing um, our nature of being uh, um, blinded in the uh, illusion of the, the split, the duality. Um, can, like we're asleep. Um, and it's uh, through the moon, it's going inward, shining our light in, inward and uh, uh, to our shadow self, to that part that we've in judgment shoved down that's keeping us uh, asleep and uh, the courage of howling at the moon going through that work inward and then coming out the other side and taking our proper spot, the sovereign self on uh, the throne of our, our sovereign self living from the heart and free of the uh, illusion of separation. Uh, that's what it meant to me. Well, I, I, I couldn't have put it better myself. That's fantastic. I love, I love that. I knew that saying for ages, the sovereign self. I love that. We don't see ourselves as sovereigns. We see ourselves, you know, as, as, as not worthy half the time. And, and we are, we have that, you know, we've all got that part of that God particle that I call inside us and, and that sovereign self is, is there. And thank you for sharing that. That, that okay. resonates massively with me. Thank you. Appreciate it a lot. So I hope um, we've enjoyed this evening. It was, um, you know, I like the way it blends sometimes and, and I, I start the night thinking, where am I going to go? And then we end up in the right place. So um, it's always it's always divinely uh, set out and you know it's always special with you guys because you know you bring you bring that energy you bring that light you bring that love and everything else which is um always good and, and as I said if, if you would have seen me 25 minutes before I came on I was like oh but then when I came on I just grabbed your energy the collective energy and 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 you're in that flow and you're in that purpose and all of a sudden I'm probably not going to be able to sleep for another hour, an hour or so, um, because I'm, my energy is so high. So I appreciate you all for doing that. I appreciate everybody. Um, I will be back um, on Monday uh, with Mindfulness Monday. Next week, um, next Thursday, um, I'm going to um, the healing weekend, or the healing, yeah, what's it called? The healing 
weekend. Yeah, that's what it's called. The healing weekend, just outside Glastonbury. I went there a couple of years ago. Um, my wife um, has practiced Reiki. So she's, I've managed to um, get the whip out um, and I've whipped her into uh, having a stall on the marquee and she's going to be doing um, donations for her Reiki. So I've got her working three days doing Reiki. Um, but I've got the dogs, so I'm going to be in a tent with two dogs, but I'm going to be going on the healing fields as well. So I'm going to try and cover off as much of that as I can. And I'm hoping to do a live from my tent next Thursday um, in the healing fields. Um, and uh, and we go for, yeah, you're right, Monday the 4th of July. So we might do Mindfulness Tuesday then, because I think everyone will be busy in North America uh, on the on the Monday, um, but yeah, so the hit with and then the healing weekends next Thursday, we'll do some lives and all that. There's some amazing things that go on there. There, if you ever get the chance to come to the UK, try and come around this time um, because I think it's the first week in July, and it's and it is amazing. It's just outside Glastonbury, but there is probably it's the biggest um, collective. I would say there are probably. 200 250 people practicing um in marquees throughout this is a huge site there are three huge marquees that do um demonstrations and workshops i was going to do a workshop until i realized i had nobody to have the dogs um so um i'm probably going to do a bit on the fly with the dogs um but um there's huge workshops there there's loads of things going on they have a big fire on the saturday night and they have all the drums and shamanic drums and all these things. And it's just a very special experience. And I'm really looking forward to it. I'm even looking forward to going, laying on a camp bed, um, which, you know, is, is not is for some and not for others. Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to that as well. So um, that's my week next week. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for all your kind words and your healing. Um, it's always nice to see you all. As I always say at this point, have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing. Be love and give love. I'll see you soon. I'll see you on Tuesday. We'll do it Tuesday. Take care. God bless. Look after yourself. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.